<clears throat> hey everyone, uh, let me go ahead and stop you, I know what you're thinking, uh, you are not Derek, uh, no I'm not, and while I don't possess his boyish good looks, I uh, am beautiful in my own way. Um, today I wanted to do a quick little video for you guys, <clears throat> introduce myself, and uh, tell you a little bit more about uh, what we're going to do with the different YouTube channels. Um, I just thought it was important to do both of them kind of at the same time, so uh, I didn't script this out or anything, but uh, hopefully I'll try and keep it relatively short uh, and on point without rambling too much. Um, my name is Paul, and a lot of our established customers are, are used to dealing with me, and some of our customers have been dealing with me, uh, but a lot of you new guys are starting to uh, email me since we've spread out kind of the load of the the new emails that Derek's always talking about that we have trouble getting to. Um, and we're getting some pretty funny emails when either I or Andrew or, or some of the other people that work for Derek uh, answer them. Uh, occasionally, we get accused of being a scam and or whatever because we're not Derek. You know, I can't tell you how many times I've emailed someone back and they're like, wait, you're not, you're not Derek. You're not the guy from the videos. I don't understand. Um, so I wanted to ease some of your fears a little bit so you can see that I'm also a real person. And uh, Derek has mentioned me and, you know, we work together. And you'll be seeing uh, the whole team probably uh, together on video throughout this year as we do more of this kind of stuff for you guys uh, since Derek has made it so successful last year. Um, you may also have noticed, if you're paying attention, that I am not driving on the correct side of the road to be in Japan. Uh, that's because I'm currently not. So, as part of my intro, I will tell you that I am from a suburb of Atlanta, Georgia, uh, in the United States, uh, Marietta. Um, but I wanted to do a driving video, uh, since Derek's Talk to Myself in the Car videos are so popular, I thought I would kind of do the same thing. Um... So yeah, so let me tell you a little bit about myself. I'll get to the car stuff in a second. We'll do we'll do other stuff first. So I've lived in Japan off and on um, a bunch of times. Um, I was a teacher. I was there for a study abroad in college. I was there for other stuff. I, I don't know. Uh, I've been back and forth a lot. Um, and right now I'm back in the U.S. taking care of some legal stuff, uh, mostly with my wife and our dog. Uh, so that they can be immigrated properly into Japan full-time since uh, I'll be staying there more permanently now um, working with Derek. Um, and I will be back with him probably in the next six to eight weeks, which I'm sure he's looking forward to to help him unload some of that stress you guys always hear him talking about. Um, I am a super nerd uh, outside of car stuff. I am the triple threat. Comics, video games, and movies. I enjoy all three. Uh, I've played a lot of hockey. I'm a hot big hockey fan. I love the New York Rangers. Um, other than that, uh, my life's pretty much cars. And it has been for as long as I can remember. I would, I would say I'm pretty old school, way before Fast and the Furious and all that stuff. Uh, I know a lot of people in the industry, and I know a lot of people, you know, uh, all over the world actually now. Uh, through various organizations or places that I've worked or uh, I'm an admin for one of the largest global Skyline GTR owners groups uh, in the world, um, the R33 GTR Owners Club. Um, so I get to meet a lot of people and, and it's really fantastic. Uh, most of my automotive stuff has been working on race cars and racing cars. Uh, you wouldn't know it to look at me now, but uh, it used to be quite decent. Not, not you know, pro, but I wasn't bad. Um, I still get out when I can, uh, and some of that will factor into what we're going to do later this year with our videos, actually. Um, so yeah, other than that, I've been around cars my entire life. Uh, Japanese cars have always been part of something I've done, uh, whether it be, you know, working sales with parts and stuff, or working on them, or racing them, whatever it was. Um, Derek and I, I think, complement each other quite nicely, uh, between the two of us because between the two of us there's very little that one of us doesn't know um, especially in terms of exporting cars to you guys um, so yeah I think you know Andrew is a big help and we've got other people at the office again you'll you'll be meeting everybody you've probably gotten emails from James or Ben uh, who are also incredibly knowledgeable um, so yeah th there's more than just Derek working at Pacific Coast Auto although it is his the 
PCA is his baby and we're all happy to work for him. Um, but last year was kind of a record year and Derek has made a decision to grow things out and make things bigger and we're all on board to support him in that and that's kind of my job is actually to to not only do the sales stuff um, and answer the emails and, and help customers get the cars they want and take care of that but to support him in the other areas of, of helping getting the business uh, take it to the next level uh, because we're ready to expand that way um, so let me segue that into a little bit of what we're doing with the, the channels. I know Derek posted a video, I'm not sure when you're going to see this, but either yesterday or day before, it should have been about two days ago, uh, where he talked a little bit about why we divided the videos up, and I just wanted to take a few minutes to kind of expand on that a little bit further and give you guys a little bit of an idea of what we're going to do uh, moving forward, what we think we're going to do, uh, since we're still doing a lot of planning. I want to say first... Uh, if it hasn't been made clear that Pacific Coast Auto and the export side of the business is absolutely our priority. In no way, shape, or form is any of the video, picture, Facebook, YouTube stuff going to interfere with that. Um, it's a passion project. It's in our spare time. Uh, it's just something we've, we've wanted to do. Uh, the both of us actually have wanted to do for a long time. And uh, we each kind of want to do different things, but we're, we're figuring out how to combine them. Um, so, yeah, uh, the Pacific Coast Auto stuff we want to keep for the business and for the auction stuff. We want to be purely that because we want our customers and for you guys who are looking just for the information on auctions and cars and and, and how to go through the process to be able to go to one place and find that information quickly. We don't want to oversaturate that channel with a bunch of fun stuff uh, that will make it difficult for customers or potential, you know, importees to uh, to find that uh, information, um, which is why we have the second channel, Drive Japan. And probably in the next couple of days, I will put up a placeholder video that you guys will see. Um, but it's just a placeholder uh, to hold spot there. Uh, something temporary. I'll throw in some old footage that I have from Okayama Circuit or something, some races or some car shows in Japan um, so that, you know, we have a video on that page. But uh, as Derek said, we probably won't start doing any real content until probably six or seven months from now um, just because it'll take that long to get situated. Um, beyond that, we are still sort of ironing out what the details are for what's going to go on Drive Japan. Now, I'm sure Derek on his own personal channel will probably still do his question cast. So here's what I'm going to ask you guys to do, or what we're asking you guys to do. If you have pic uh, pictures, if you have questions about the importing business, or specifically about importing a car, or, you know, that kind of thing, go ahead and keep sending them to the Pacific Coast Auto website, the info at PacificCoastJDM.com. Uh, Go ahead and send them there or send them to the Pacific Coast uh, YouTube page. And we'll pull from that. If you guys have other questions, like you want us to compare and praises and uh, Evos, or you guys are curious about what it's like to own a Celica GT4, or you want to know what the most popular car is, or, you know, are these models hard to find, uh, things that you're curious about, uh, you know, how do you go through a drive through at McDonald's uh, in Japan, you know, whatever it is uh, that's car related, go ahead and send it to the Drive Japan uh, page, go ahead and either PM that on YouTube, or, or email it, and we will sort that stuff out. And what I'm going to start doing uh, with Andrew probably is start creating kind of a library of questions that we can divide up. And then we will start to uh, figure out what videos we need to shoot when and what of that stuff we can combine. Because um, one of the things I would like to do, actually, we get a, a lot of kind of random questions. Um, I don't know if people are interested in our opinion, I guess, or, or Derek's opinion. Um, about like what cars are best or what's their favorite engines or you know things like that um, and if you would if you're interested I guess in hearing what Derek or I think about owning a Lancia Delta or you know spending the extra money for a, a twin turbo you know super RZ or whatever it is 
um, email that to Drive Japan too because I'd like to do kind of round table discussions where maybe the two of us can talk um, or three of us or four of us we might get some special guests on you know we're friends with a lot of people out there uh, could see some of them come on and talk um, we can do a couple shop tours things like that it's kind of whatever you guys want to see uh, either leave it in a comment here or um, like I said over on the Drive Japan channel is probably better um, and we'll collate that and do what you guys want um personally i would like to do some uh tutorial stuff for you guys who might become teachers or wonder what it's like to come you know how to get to japan um we get a lot of emails that are like you know i think you guys are awesome your youtube channel is great which thank you by the way those compliments even if i get the emails they always get forwarded to derek because until now he's been pretty much he's he has been doing those by himself uh so I make sure that he gets all those and he gets all of them and we're very humbled by you guys, you know, complimenting us. But you know, sometimes we'll get emails that say something like, you know, you guys are living the dream in Japan. And <laughs> it's kind of funny because sometimes I think the stuff that y'all might picture as what we do every day isn't quite the reality of it. Uh, it's a lot more boring <laughs> than you guys probably think it is sometimes. Um, and then sometimes it is as exciting. It just depends. But uh, we want to you know, like I said, it's a passion project. We want to make stuff that you guys want to watch and, and teach you the things that you want to learn about. Um, you know, like I said, having years, you know, in the scene kind of watching, I know that there are places that fall short. Um, you know, there's, there's a lot of hype trains, uh, Skyline GTR, for example, you know, maybe you guys like to see a video where instead of us filming a, you know, uh, an R32 that's had $80,000 worth of work done to it, um, which of course is fast and amazing to drive, you know, what's it like to drive a stock one, you know, um, compared to something else, that money that you're going to spend to import one, you know, what do you get for that for real? Um, you know, because there are some there's some pluses obviously to owning a GTR but there are some negatives uh, uh quite a few actually there can be so um you know if you're interested in that kind of stuff let us know and and we'll do tutorial stuff um we're definitely going to do some videos about using our website and some importing 101 uh so that will help us cut down some of the emails we get that are repeats all the time like what exactly is the process or you know how come you guys can't inspect the car for me at the auction um you know i was planning on doing a video probably sometime this spring or summer of what it's like actually out there so that y'all can see exactly how our time gets divided up so that you understand when derek says that doing some things are really difficult or that I email you back and tell you that we can't really do that, you'll, you'll see why. It's not that we don't want to or that we're lazy or that we'd rather do other stuff. It's we, we really do not have time. Um, so, yeah, uh, so that's a little bit about me. Uh, in case it comes up, uh, cars I've owned, uh, this 350Z um, I own uh, here in the States, although I'll probably sell it now because I don't think I'll be coming home to drive it again anytime soon. Um, I've had a bunch of Supras, a ton of them. Actually, it's probably my car. Uh, I did a 1J swap on the USDM one, like, when I was in high school. I was one of the first people to do that. Um, I had a 7M GTE, which is the US, or the MA70, the 3.0 single turbo motor from a third gen Supra. I had one of those in an S30, a uh, Fairlady Z. Um, I've had Audis, I've had Pontiacs, I've had old muscle cars, I've had all kinds of stuff, uh, and race all of them. So I know some of you guys would probably like to see some racing footage and stuff, and, and some of that is definitely going to go on the Drive Japan channel. Uh, it just so happens that while this year we're expanding all of our stuff, uh, so am I personally, and so I'll probably document a lot of that stuff for you guys on the video. Um, I will take you guys to the racetrack or I'll take you through the build of whatever project car I buy next because after I get settled uh, back in with Derek here in the next couple of months, I am going to do that and we will go racing in it and you guys are more than welcome to tag along if that is something you would be interested in. Um, but other than that, I just want to say hi. Again, my name is Paul. I work with Derek and uh, you guys will hear from me. You'll hear from him. Uh, if you guys want to pit, pit us against each other, uh, for comparison stuff, you can do that too. 
Uh, and other than that, I just want to say, you know, thanks for watching our YouTube channel and all the great compliments for Derek and, and, you know, for those of you who have bought cars from us, you know, I'm glad you've enjoyed the, the service and, and gotten great stuff. We've had a lot of fun, um, you know, helping people find their dream cars and helping dealers, uh, helping dealers find the dream cars for people that they have in their countries, you know, and all over the world. We shipped everywhere. So, uh, it's been crazy and I'm sure this year is just going to get better. Um, and we want to be able to take time to include you guys in that as much as possible. Cause like I said, Derek, Derek likes running a company that's very transparent and so do I. Um, so where we can, we will take you guys with us, I guess. So again, uh, thanks. Thanks for watching. And, uh, I'm sure I'll be seeing you guys soon.